That one looks annoying. Watch out. Wow, you can see all of Ruwer spread out from here. You can, though the view isn't as nice as it'd be from the front. Oh, a treasure chest! train track. That's the freight line that runs into the mine. Oh, a treasure chest. Rest before we even get there. All right. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't expecting this path to be so steep. Bag treasure. Eat lead. Dangerous foe! Stay on guard! Oh! What a nice looking treasure chest! This is a pretty nice view. Oh, actually, I didn't even know about this place.
chest. Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight! My turn! Huh. Okay, it's safe for now. This one's nasty. Watch out! Go! Alright, let's do this! My turn. <laughs> My turn. This one's got your name on it. Hope you like it! Yeah. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. A plus outcome. <laughs> I did it.
That looks like a tough one. Watch out! Just because you can? It's kind of fun. This way leads to Marquis Rogner's mansion. So that's where Jellica's stubborn old man lives, huh? Better stay away.
You're quite correct, of course. Both the Provincial Army and the Railway Military Police have their own roles to fill, each important to the Empire. A query for you then, how would you respond if a crisis were to occur in multiple places at the same time? Captain Claire Revelt, I presume? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've heard much about you. It's an honor, Lord Alborea. Please, no need for formalities between us. Rufus is fine. Still, you seem puzzled as to what I'm doing in Ruhr. Or to be more specific, how I got here. Do I assume correctly? The country's railways are completely under your control. Had I taken a train, you would have known it. And yet, there are no signs I passed through Ruhr Airport either. The truth is more mundane than fantastic. I arrived aboard the Alborea family's private airship, which currently sits just off a highway on the outskirts of the city awaiting my return. I... Blind spots are an unavoidable reality. We all have them. As on the ball as you are, you do well not to overestimate your own superiority. After all, the hardest falls are the ones we don't see coming. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Now. Isn't it time both sides withdrew and remove those unsightly vehicles from the streets at once? A provincial army must conduct itself with valor and grace at all times. Would you not agree?
can't believe your family has the top two floors of a world-class high-rise all to itself. Yeah, even high-ranking nobles would trip over themselves to secure a luxury suite like this. I was afraid you guys would react exactly like you just did. That's why I just kept my mouth shut. Sure, it's large, but it's so pointlessly large for just two people, and the only servant we have is Sharon. If you have Sharon, that's the only maid you need, even for a place this big. <laughs> you said it. Well, we'll be guests here for the next three days, so thanks for having us, Elisa. Well, of course. Don't mention it. My, my, my. Is it just me, or do I detect more than a hint of red on Lady Elisa's fair visage? Could she be... embarrassed? Uh, I am not! <laughs> We're here on a field study, so could we at least try to take this a little more seriously? I'll lighten up, Machias. It just wouldn't be a proper field study without one of us getting embarrassed about our family. Feels nice to be back. I'll just ignore how you popped up to greet us the moment we walked through the door. <laughs> I just couldn't wait to see you. Now, if you'll just follow me, I'll show you inside. This is even more grandiose than I'd expected. You can see the whole town out there below. Talk about the lap of luxury. Looks like a comfy place to take a nap. You guys really think so? I've been away from Ruwer for half a year, so I guess it does feel kind of nice to be home. <laughs> I guess that's natural. I've already finished preparing dinner. Please, let me know whenever you're ready to eat. Thank you. I don't know about all of you, but I'm pretty hungry. What do you say we... Wait, actually we can't, can we? Mother said she'd be eating with us tonight, so we need to wait until she comes home. And there are quite a few things we need to ask her, too. Well, actually, my lady, I'm afraid I received a call from the chairman earlier about that. What? Lisa, if you wolf down so much food so quickly... You'll get fat. Ah! It's just this once! I eat a balanced diet the rest of the time. 
But you've been bolting down every course so quickly, I'm surprised you haven't inhaled your napkin. Maybe we're gonna need to rethink your stage outfit for the concert. Crap. I almost forgot about that. If you're worrying about us, you don't need to, you know? I know your mother promised she'd have dinner with us, but we all know she's a busy woman. And she said she'd try to make some time for us tomorrow instead. But still... It's not that it bothers me so much, but she sits on Thor's board of directors. Who's she meeting with that's so important she can't even clear a little time to see us? She got off the Lusitania already, didn't she? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to say. She's not out on a date with a gentleman or engaging in any lascivious behavior, if that puts your mind at ease. <sighs> that's not what I'm worried about, not even close. Honestly, hearing she was seeing a man might even put my mind at ease. Alisa? Thank you.